Mr. Messy by Roger Hargreaves. Mr. Miss. Mr. Messy was the messiest person you ever met in your whole life. He looked messy because he was messy. And everything he did, you could always tell, tell him where Mr. Messy had been. Because he left, left a trail of messy fingerprints wherever he'd been. Oh yes, Mr. Messy was messy by name, messy by nature. Mr. Messy lived in a producedly messy looking house. The paint was peeling, the windows were broken, there were tides missing from the roof, the flower beds are over in the roof, the garden gate was always hindered. And Mr. Messy cut the grass in his garden until he knocked. One morning, Mr. Messy woke up in his messy bed, yawned, stretched, stretched, got up, cleaned his teeth, laid the top of the toothpaste, had his breakfast, spilling coffee. All over the floor, and then set out for the uh, walk. Chicken will brush, eat a bed, lie in the garden two weeks before. There was a wood behind Mr. Messy's, Messy's house, with a messy garden, and that's where he went for his walk. As it was a pretty large wood with lots and lots of trees, and it took Mr. Messy a long time to walk through it, but he didn't really mind because he, he felt that walking that morning. So, walk and walk. right through the wood until he came to the other side. And do you know what he found on the other side of the wood? Mr. Messy found the nearest pretty looking their cottage that he'd ever seen. It had a lovely little garden with spring running through the middle of it. There was a man in the garden who grew handed. He looked up as Mr. Messy approached. Good morning, I'm Mr. Messy, said Mr. Messy. I can see. I can see that bit by them. Get him and duck down. I'm Mr. Tidy. I'm Mr. Neat, said another man, peering out. Tidy and neat, said Mr. Tidy. Neat and tidy, said Mr. Neat. We're business together, explained Mr. Tidy. The people who own this house have asked us to do some work for them. What sort of work? asked Mr. Messy. Oh, we make things nice and neat, said Mr. Neat. Tidy things up, added Mr. Tidy. Perhaps we could come along and do some work for you, said Mr. Neat. Look at Mr. Messy, who was looking a miserable than usual proposal no. no. but I don't want things to things neat and tidy 
there must there must that he downright miserable at the Soviet Republic. Nonsense and Mr. Tidy. He knows that said Mr. Meek. But said Mr. Messy. Come along, said Mr. Meek. Off we go, said Mr. Tidy. But, but, said Mr. Meek. But nothing, said Mr. Meek. And bounding him into the van which was parked behind the house of oh, they went to Mr. and Mrs. house the other side of the world. Good heaven, said Mr. Meek when he saw where Mr. and Mrs. was. Good graduates, added Mr. Tidy. This is the messiest house I've ever seen all my born days. They both said together at the same time. Better do something about that, said Mr. Neat. And before Mr. Mussy could open his mouth, the two of them were rushing here and there about Mr. Mussy's house. Mr. Neat held and mold and pruned and snip and clip and cleared and dug and made the garden look neater than it ever looked before. Mr. Tidy cleaned and pruned and rubbed and painted and handed and outside of Mr. Mrs. house the tighter than it had ever looked before. They both went inside the house. Good heavens, Mr. Me for the second time that morning. Oh, gratulations, Mr. Tidy, for the second time that morning. That morning, and they both set up about cleaning the house from top to bottom. They brushed their sweep and polished their scrub and made the inside of the house look neater and tidier than it had ever looked before. There we are, said Mr. Tidy. All finished, said Mr. Neat. Tidy and neat, said Mr. Tidy. Neat and tidy, said Mr. Neat. Mr. Miss just didn't know what to say. They both looked at Mr. Missy. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Mr. Neat said to Mr. Tidy. Quick, cut this. But uh, Mr. Tidy, what we're both thinking, they said to them. And Mr. Messy, is that you, you look much too messy to live in a neat and tidy house like this? But, said Mr. Messy. But whatever Mr. Messi said was no use. Mr. Neat and Mr. Tidy was off to a bathroom upstairs. It had been the messiest room in the house. But now, of course, it was neat as a new pin. That Mr. Neat got a hold of one of Mr. Mrs. on the Mr. Tidy got hold of a other arm and picked him up and put him straight into the bath. Mr. Messi wasn't used to having baths. Mr. Neat and Tidy washed and brushed and cleaned and scrubbed and called Mr. Messi until he did the correct Mr. Messi at all. In fact, he looked the opposite of messy. He looked at himself in a mirror. And do you know what I'm going to do now? He said in father fierce voice. Mr. Neat and Tidy looked worried. What are you going to do?
going to have to do to ask Mr. Messi. I'm going to have to change my name, said Mr. Messi. And then he chuckled. And Mr. Neat and Tidy chuckled. And then Mr. Messi laughed. And Mr. Neat and Mr. Tidy laughed. And they both all laughed together. And they become the best of friends. And that really is the end of the story. Expect to say that if you're a messy sort of person, you might have very fun to people. And you know what they're called, don't you? The end. Well, like I said, please subscribe and thumbs up. Thanks. Peace.